Well, yard work is not everyone's favorite activity, but this month could be a reason to skip mowing your lawn for a week. The No Mow May initiative is catching on all across the country. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Salig is finding out what all the buzz is about. Your lawn is part of the largest crop that is grown in the United States every year by area. As flowers begin to bloom, pollinators like bees, birds, and insects are looking to forage through the various flowers around the Miami Valley. According to the USDA, pollinators provide over $18 billion in revenue to crop production every year and pollinate more than 100 U.S. grown crops. But spring is a vulnerable time for these pollinators. It's a critical time because there are limited food resources for them, limited flowers in the environment, limited habitat. The resources they are looking for is right in your front yard. Pollinators are just looking for um, some of our less conspicuous nectar sources, and a lot of those can actually pop up in our yards if we refrain from mowing for a certain period of time. The month has been dubbed No Mow May, but it does not mean avoiding yard work for the month. Instead, be conscious about how you are treating your lawn. Reducing or stopping uh, pesticides on your lawns will also help all insect species that um, are present. Letting grass grow long may not be appealing to everyone, but planting a garden of native plants can be just as effective. The key is to focus on native plants that have a wide variety of bloom times. You should consult with local laws and homeowners association rules before making any changes. In Centerville, meteorologist Cameron Saliga, 2 News.